Good morning, Whalers, and welcome to the WCPS Whaler News Network. My name is Elma Wallace. And my name is Devin Roach. Today is Monday, October 24th, and is a day three for sixth graders and day one for seventh and eighth graders. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by our good friends at Blue Beetle. Established in 2005 in a location of 12 Main Street, the Blue Beetle reflects the playfulness and elegance of island living. At Blue Beetle, they strive to provide a collection full of beautiful woman clothes, jewelry, gifts, and accessories that portray the summer lifestyle of Nantucket. So next time you are shopping on Main Street, shop in the Blue Beetle and make sure to tell them that we sent you. Now let's send some very special birthday shout outs to Jaden Harrett and Demis Vita. We also would like to send out a belated birthday wish to another one of our new teachers, Miss Williamson, who turned 21 over the weekend. Happy birthday to all of you. For lunch today, we will be dining on a delicious Korean chicken bowl or a nice chili cheese dog. Our weather today will bring us some showers and possible thunderstorms with a high temperature of 68 degrees. On Thursday, Miss Pellegrino's Community Service Club and Miss McMahon's Book Club will meet after school. Mr. Millen's Games Club will meet Friday after school. In sports, yesterday our boys' CPS football team crushed um, Shore Shrewsbury by a score of 40 to 0. Great games were played by Burke Lombardi, Jasper Source, Eli McClaver, Alex Horton, and Andrew Mooney. Last Friday, the boys and girls CPS soccer team were both in action here at home as they hosted Matt. Mattachies, the girls came out on a top with an amazing shout-out. The final score was 5-0, to zero, with an amazing play by Ellen Uberly, who scored three goals that also known as, known as had Chuck, Chuck Ruby Stedman and Amelia Fernandez score the other two goals. Great job, girls. Both teams will be traveling to Monomoy today, so let's wish them all good luck. Also, last Friday, the girls' JV hockey team, field hockey team, beat St. John Paul by a score of 2-0. to zero. And then Saturday, they beat Sturgeon's East by a score of 3-0. to zero. Eighth grade, Evie Phillips and Ella Douglas and Grace Hanlon all scored goals on Saturday. The boys' varsity football team lost again with a terrible defeat against Flamouth Flat. Famous with Um, our varsity team is still looking for the first win, but at least there was a lot of fun to be had by the students during the homecoming parade. Each grade designed their own floats, along with um entries from the um varsity boys and girls soccer team teams, and the JV girls soccer team awards the handed out a halftime of the football game with the seniors winning all of them. The stage is now set for the Major League Baseball World Series. The Philadelphia Phillies will be playing the Hudson Houston Astros with the Astros with the game one this Friday. Finally tonight the Patriots will take on the Bears for Monday night football. Students, don't forget about the middle school Halloween dance at the Boys and Girls Club. This Thursday, it, that starts at 7 p.m., there will be a costume contest, musical chairs, and lots of prizes, so don't miss out. Remember, no cell phones or backpacks for all. The grown-ups, th- there will be a Halloween party at the Dreamland this Saturday night from 7 to 10 p.m. with a DJ and costume contest. You can buy tickets on the Dreamland website. Of course, Halloween is actually one week from today. 
So if you haven't got your costume yet, you better get on it. Get going. The annual Main Street Costume Parade will start at 4 p.m. followed by trick-or-treating in all the stores. Let's all start thinking about having fun but also doing it safely. Today is National Bologna Day. This type of sausage is similar to the Italian modella. The finely pork ground pork or beef sausage is a Colombian, is smoked and cured in Italy. Bologna includes a variety of sp- um, spices not found in American bologna. Many people enjoy bologna sandwiches with a variety of garnishes. Some of those include mustard, ketchup, and cheese. Here is a fun fact. When Mr. G was a kid, little kid, um, he used to eat fried bologna sandwiches. All right, CBS, that's all the news for today. Have a great day. Take care of one, yourself and one another. And most importantly, be kind, be to, kind one to one another. another. Bye.